Hello everyone and welcome to another exciting episode of Orogiri. And as today's um, title suggests, this is going to be a video about how to craft the Tempest Magatama. So in previous videos we've discussed, like, you know, we've touched a little bit about what Tempests are and how they come in the future and what are they, where do we farm them, this and that. So I've decided to combine two different videos into one. So we're going to make a little Tempest guide where I'm just going to tell you guys where to farm stuff and how you can get Tempest and what all goes into it. So for starters, let's go look at a Tempest recipe just to have for um, comparison's sake. So, you know, something to look off of. Um, so if we go to Magatama Crafting... And then we go to, uh, whatchamahoosits. I have a Roretsu Tempest mag recipe right here. So for a Tempest, you need three different fused mags. So you're going to need a, your own fused mag, and then another fused mag, and then another fused mag. So for Axe's case, you would need Axe, Bow, and um, Axe, Bow, and staff so i think there's a little tiny trivia thing and i'm not 100 percent on this but for for a while i used to think that all the tempests included the same things you needed for the vow like to make the mevisophilies vow it required like the same weapon types so i'm just going to check that out to see what the um axe vow if it matches up where is that oh my god is it not on this list do i not own it I probably don't. I would laugh if I didn't have the axe file. Oh my god. I do, okay. So for axe, you need lance and bow. So it's not the same. It's not the same at all. I guess, maybe it is for spear. I thought spears was, um... I thought spears was like that. Where it was the same. Spear needs bow and one. It's not the same for spear either. Interesting. It's the nadir. The nadir is the same. For spear, you need spear, um, wand, and sword. Like, that's what you need for tempest. So if I had the axe nadir, I think it'll be the same. I think that's what I was trying to say. Yeah, staff, bow, and axe. So whatever weapons you need for your nadir are the same as the ones you need for your tempest. So that's a good way to keep it in track if you have one of the recipes or one or the other. You know, I mean, not everyone has a nadir recipe, but, you know, just a little tidbit I thought I'd throw in there so whatever you need for um, your nadir you need for your tempest tempest nadir so that's just um, some cool little trivia there so where do you actually get a tempest recipe so tempest recipes there are two ways to attain them and that's pretty cool that there's two ways so uh, the first way is in Kyoto in the um, Yellow Dragon Spire, I think that's the dungeon. Yellow Dragon Spire Purity Space. You get to go there and you get to um, fight Shuten Doji. Shuten Doji is the boss that can drop a Tempest Recipe for you, but the drop rates are really, really low. It's a 1% chance that he'll drop a Tempest Recipe. And then beyond that, since there are eight different classes or weapon types, that 1% gets divided up by 12, putting it at an even lower percent, so like a 0.125% chance. So, you know, that's fun. That's really, really fun. So, basically, it's very, very, it's hard, it's easy to get a Tempest recipe, but it's hard to get your own. So that's basically the big problem here. It's sort of like when you're trying to get your juncture recipe, you know, every time you get a recipe, it's a 1 out of 8 chance to get your own. Or a veteran's weapon, it's a 1 out of 8 chance that you get your own, and so on and so forth. So, Tempest works the same way. Um, moving on beyond that, though, um, there is the other way to get a Tempest recipe, and that is to exchange um, Zenith medals for it. So, to get a Tempest recipe... It takes about 4,500 first class, and by the time you get um, that many first class medals, you'll have enough of the other medals. I don't know their exact count, but should you have 4,500 um, first class medals, you'll get the other medals as well. Hey, Nexi, how you guys doing? 
this guy's from the Dick's Corner. So, that's how you get a Tempest recipe. So, I actually um, farmed, um, what's his name, Shooting Doji for probably five to six boosts, 300, stuff like that, big boosts. And I only ever got um, two Tempest recipes, the Axe recipe and the Bow recipe. And I never got mine, never saw any others. So, I said, I'm going to save my boosts and not waste them here any longer. And I just stored up enough metals for it. And I um, bought my Tempest recipe. So if we go to my Tempest recipe, the um, spear one, which is in spears, you'll see that it's lit up because we did a lot of work today so I can actually make this Tempest recipe or this Tempest mag. So what you require for it for spear is the Thunderquake fused, Talonbreaker fused, and Skyrunning fused. And we all know what goes into a fuse, so Lunar Spirit Seal, Moon Rewards, mags from dungeons and a 105 put that all together you get yourself a fuse but that's like a lot a lot a lot of hard work and then luckily for spear users like both of these recipes drop in palace so talon breaker and spear so wand and spear both drop in palace and then bank a factory for um so sky running fuse and blueprints and other things nubatama drops there too so you can farm them both at the same time i managed to get a, i think maybe two nubatamas there my whole life um, so fused, you know, we all know what fused are. Hopefully. Next on the list is the heavenly marble. So you need 150 heavenly marbles. And these marbles drop in the new Kyoto dungeons. So they're very, very easy to, to obtain. Um, you can get them in Yellow Dragon Spire itself. Or you can get it in Rezui Island. A place that has a bit more enemies and a better drop rate, I find. So you can farm Rezui Island and get a crap ton of heavenly marbles. Very, very easy and... You know, very easy. Earthen marbles, however, suck. Earthen marbles are like maybe, I want to say three times the drop rate of like a scarlet gem or something. Like they feel like myrtle gems. Like they suck. They really, really suck. Like farming these without a boost, you'll get like one a run, one every other run. Like it's bad. Like in my opinion, I asked some people too. You should use boosts to get earthen marbles. I actually used a um, a one hour 200% and um, a half an hour 300% that I had from the Lancelot event and I got my marbles. I had about 69 by the time I stopped doing Yellow Dragon Spire and I got the other 39 or 40 of them from um, Resolute Island. So that's a fun little dungeon for it. Great place to go. Um... Rezui has lots of enemies. In Rezui, I honestly find that if you have, like, Ifrit and stuff, because the enemies are really hard to kill on hell. They have a lot of health. Um, what I ended up doing was I would just go on five-man body party. Always body party if you're farming these marbles, because more mobs, whatever. What I would do is I would go in and just howl two, three times the first room, do it, kill everything, kill a couple stuff in the next room, and then just leave and come back, because there's just more enemies in the first couple rooms than there are if you just go through the entire dungeon. So that's my little pro tip on how to get earthen marbles. That's kind of my technique. I did run the whole dungeon a couple times just to test it out. And I found that I got at least one or two earthen marbles just breaking the, doing like a first room sort of farm. And it's really easy to load out there too because it's like a confined area. So that's what I did for earthen marbles. Um, Resby Island, like first room farm. Even if you don't have Ifra, it's just easier to just go to one area on a five man that loads like 20 enemies you kill them all if you get one or two great rinse repeat and just do it you know it saves you time than like killing a bunch of things and running around the dungeon and you know especially if you're on boost you want a time efficient manner the loading screen is arguable but i found that to be a better um approach to farming these things they suck um next you need turquoise timber ceilings so mephistopheles dungeon um the arcanes i should say um, arcane um, Serio Grotto, so you just summon the new or do the whole dungeon. Really up to you if you've been farming um, uh, Completion, Warped, Nadir, all that stuff. You know all about the seedlings. You know, you kill the new, you summon them, you jump up on all the rocks, you hit the button, he summons. You know, everyone everyone knows how to do that. If you've watched me streaming on Fever, you know about all this. So you need 50 of those things. I didn't boost for them. I just actually ran it a couple hours a night and I got the 50 seeds, no problem. Um, next on your list is probably the worst drop ever. This is like honestly the hardest drop. Now, my my view is biased because, um, you know, we're going to get to the... There is a real hardest drop. 
but in my opinion, Scorn Sculpture is the most time-consuming, annoying drop, because it's 50 energy a run, Eldritch will only give you, like, one or two on a boost, like, in a rare awesome chance you can get, like, three or four on the ground, or three on the ground, one in reward. That I had that happen to me, like, once or twice. It was amazing. But Horn Sculptures suck a lot. It's, if it's from Eldritch Beast on the hard difficulty, um, you know, very, very hard warding to do, in my opinion. Like, if you don't have Vanguard set up for him, or just build set up for him, like, I find it very difficult. Um, I actually had a different build when I fought him. I actually used, um, two fused, a wind Chiami, and my Gemini. So I had, like, 72 crit, and I just Sepulchre forced him. And, like, um, I would actually just stay alive as Miyamoto, because I found that staying alive was more important than just doing a shit ton of damage and dying. Because he hits you with all this erratic stuff and teleports around due to just bad frame rates. So Eldritch was annoying, like we, we literally just farmed a lot of him this week, and I had to get three or four of these sculptures today, me and Suzaka went in, we did it, Eva helped us too, and she got like CNC and all this bad stuff, so rest her poor heart, all the bad luck she's been having with wardings and CNCs and drops and bullshit, but she helped out, and I got a, uh, my stuff done because of her. So, but Horm Sculpture... Probably the most annoying, because if, let's say you get one horn sculpture every run, like, let's just say, like, you get one a run, occasionally you get one in rewards every two runs. So let's say you got to run this thing, like, 40 times. Well, 40 times 50, you know, that's a lot of energy. <laughs> like, that's, what is that, 4 times 5? That's, like, 2,000 energy. Um, how did I get three seals? So, you know, that's part of Fuse, but getting the Lunar Spirit Seal, you either run Palace normally. I've gotten five seeds from Palace, or not seeds, five seals from Palace normally. But aside from that, um, do it if you can get a team together for Oni Palace of Rain, which is like a higher tier activity, um, you know, I tend to get seals there very often. Um, I had about seven or eight or nine. Uh, I probably got seven or eight from there and um that's how that worked like you just get them every now and again and if you do it every night they'll show up every once in a while Alright, so I had a little... need to help my dad do something. The sculptures are annoying. Like I said, if you can do Oni Palace of Rain, you get seals a lot more often. Like like I said, I've probably had about eight seals in my inventory before I started doing this. About a week ago, I made a video where I literally made um, the Skyrunning Fuse, the Talon Breaker Fuse, and the... Um... I didn't make the Skyrunning in the video, but I made the, uh, the Thunderquake Fuse, the Retsu Fuse... And the um, Talon Breaker fused all in that video because I just had a bunch of fuse mags lying around, or seals lying around, and um, you know then I eventually got my Skyrunning recipe which I uploaded the other day, and I made that. But Oni's Palace of Rain for seals without a doubt. Um, you know if if you can get a team capable of doing that, that's probably the best um, thing you can do. And for Oni Palace of Rain, what you really need is you can do it with 105s. It's completely doable. You just need to have um, people that can hit her in the air. So like um, bow users with cursed arrow, restriction, wand users with shadow ball. Like that's how you do it. Um, and you just fight her normally. We like to have someone distract the Benkei. So someone who might not have access to those things that can hit her in the air and stuff. Um, they can just aggro the Benkei, keep them away from everyone. And everyone else just unloads their DPS. That's our approach to it. But um, that's how we did Palace, Oni Palace. And it works really good. Um, we rarely have fails nowadays. 
Um, but long ago, I remember it was not so easy until we started figuring out all these tricks. Bring backstrike as well. 30% extra damage. Never hurt no one. Except for Kaguya. But, um... I seen a vid where a person was using twins, bow, and spears at once. That was probably someone on PC with knowledge mags. Because they can do that since the skill force is universal. And it gives them, like... A crap ton of dark like it gives them a ton of stuff yeah if you have knowledge mags which will come out in two updates from now more or less um, you can use any weapon you want and everything works fine it's sort of like fusion bear where it gives you a skill force to all element to every weapon uh, same same principle sort of like when you used to be able to use the um, tie Sai mag or the Setsuna magatama things like that it's very similar to that but it's like OP beyond belief so, moving on, the next thing is Seedling of Calamity, and before today I had eight of these, and since today is Reward Up Logos, which is the only day I ever recommend you should farm this guy, um, are knowledge better than fused? Arguably, it's just you can wear, like, well, if you're level, if you're a certain level, they give you 150 skill force each, so having a bunch of knowledge mags is more skill force, but... To each its own situation. Knowledge mags are pure dark and negative holy. So if you're fighting someone like Lucifer, it's very you die or he dies. Like in some situ in some situations, you'd rather have a fused with an element you need as opposed to a knowledge mag. But ultimately, you can build element for anything. Um, it it's it's really case by case basis. Like, knowledge is awesome, it's fantastic, to some it's a crutch, to others it's a salvation, but, um, no, they're both pretty good. How long would it take to farm Fusion Bear? Like, about a month, two months, depending if you were sword for it or not. Take, like, I feel like it can take, if you do it every day and you don't miss any of your energy and you get consistent drops, that's the thing, consistent drops, um, it can take you, like, three weeks to a month depending on how well you do it um it, but it shouldn't take you that like don't underestimate it it will take a while i've made half of the fusion bear and a little bit more i haven't finished it yet because of all these other events and stuff but um it, it will take a while to make fusion bear but moving on to seedling of calamity this drops from logos Armin on hell and like i said with the advent of reward up i would only farm seedling of calamity on reward up day which is every friday because it's horrible. Like, I want to give a little applause to everyone who's made this wand and the axe that goes with this weapon. Because they need, like, 77 of these damn things. And then they need more for other stuff. Like, I'm going to give you guys a little applause. Because Logos, on a 300, does not drop shit. If it wasn't for this reward up, I would have still been farming this guy right now. Like, oh my god, I used probably like 300 OC in restores today. Um, like, congratulations if you've made the evil eye axe and wand. Like, oh my god. Like, goddamn. That thing, those drops are abysmal. Those things are abysmal. Um, I only ever had 8 before today, and I found myself 23 of them. So, seedling sucks. Um, a good approach to fighting... Logos, in my opinion, we never really made a Logos guide, but I find I'm very Vanguard dependent in there. Like, um, for most people, if you have Valkyrie, she destroys him. If you have Ifrit, he really helps. Otherwise, Lancelot can destroy him as well. Um, anyone that really has Holy or Mountain can really destroy him. Um, but Seedling of Calamity from Logos, very, very annoying. Uh, but luckily there is reward update. Radiant Spine. Now this one is something not a lot of people know. And I had to ask around. I had to ask my buddy Oreo about this. Or my buddy asked him actually. Yeah, the evil eye is really cool. He is really cool. Um, but Radiant Spine. So this comes from Blitz Tiamat. Now when people think of Blitz Tiamat, they're going to think, Oh god, there's something you need from Blitz Tiamat to make Tempest? It's probably going to be like the big hell guy who has like a billion health. And he's annoying. Like the hard form. Well, I'm going to let you guys know you only have to farm the easy hell version of this guy. So, Blitz Tiamat, you pick the e easy or normal difficulty, whatever, like, you know which one I'm talking about. And you click hell. And honestly, all I did was, um, 
I have some steel attack Mephi weapons at plus 50. Um, I wear a Burai because that gives you so much attack with them. And I go up to him, I basic attack him a couple times with the Nadir, the warp, stuff like that. Just whittle him down, and then I steel attack him with the Mephi twins for an 80% drop boost increase because steel attack. And um, in less than a week, I got 20 of them because it only takes you 20 energy to do it. You go in, snip, snip, steel attack. If you want, pop a boost. Like, if you really want them, pop, like, a 200 or a 100, whatever, you know. Buy it from... We get 8 OC a day. People can do so much more now. Um, pop a boost like that, go in, whittle them down, steel attack them, and you get Radiant Spines, like, every... I want to say, like, you get them, like, 88% of the time. Like, that's sort of what it feels like. You get it very common. Not always, but you get them very, very common. Um, I got like 20 in a week, like a little over a week without really farming it every day extensively. Um, but yeah, Radiant Spine, you can do it on normal. Don't think you have to do it on the super hard difficulty. I was so glad it wasn't like that. And Radiant Spine is honestly probably the easiest thing on this list to do. Um, like it drops better than the friggin' earth and marble. So next thing on the list. Now this, now earlier I said that Horn Sculpture was probably the hardest. Horn Sculpture is hard energy wise i want to say but the bottom two ones here are very very annoying these ones are 10 t's of eternal night and three fallen crosses so fallen crosses if you didn't take part in the um bug catching event uh you missed out so much if you didn't pick up those fallen crosses number one thing to grab from that event i had three on me before the event and i grabbed 10 of them are no i had nine on me um, does the artisan glitch still work? Um, if you're talking about the point Druma for skill cards, then no, that doesn't matter. Um, he, you can't trade the Druma cards for points anymore. They got rid of that when the recipe reduction came in as a kind of, um, you know, balancing thing since they made everything a little bit easier to make, you know. But if that's the artisan glitch you're talking about, then you can't do that. If you have another artisan glitch, feel free to share it. Um, so the next tier weapons after Gargoyles, Mephi? Yeah, generally speaking, it's Gargoyles, then Mephistopheles, then the warding weapons, more or less. You know, then you have Lucifer, then you have Mephistopheles, sort of along that line. Um, but yeah, so Falling Cross, you have to farm Lucifer for it. Everyone knows about that. Um, he's a pain in the ass. It's not energy based, you just gotta. Farm your stones, get your buddies together, pop a 300, and do your best. But if you didn't take part in the bug catching event, I feel sorry for you that you didn't get your fallen crosses. But, you know, I tried to stream it enough to tell people, get your damn crosses, man. And the same thing goes with the Tees of Eternal Night. Um, you could have gotten 10 Tees of Eternal Night from the bug catching event and 3 fallen crosses from the bug catching event. Or no, you could have gotten 10 Fallen Crosses, 10 Teas of Eternal Night, you could have got 10 Radiant Spines, 10 Seeds of Calamity, and 10 Horn Sculpture. Literally every little drop was given to you in um, the bug catching event, but I focused primarily on the Fallen Cross and the Tea of Eternal Night. And I picked up 5 Horn Sculptures since I didn't know how bad they were going to be, and I'm kind of glad I did because Eldritch sucks. A lot. Um... But yeah, the hardest the hardest drops are honestly Fallen Cross and T because you got to fight Abyss. But you have an Abyss team on Reward Up Abyss Day. It's not that bad. I went in on like a two three hundred percent boosto, and um, I got about four T's in four runs. So that was really good. Only one run he didn't drop anything, and it came from rewards. But T isn't as bad in my perspective. Um, I'm not going to ornament it. That's the thing about Tempest. So that's I love you. We're going to the next thing. Um, I hope we get a good grade as well, but. Honestly, ornamenting Tempest is very much a no-no. Tempest Magatama, I'm going to hover over it here, is 55 chakra. Like, Fused is 50 chakra. Tempest itself is 55, so it's more than a, a, a normally ornamented Fused. Um, so if you had Tempest Mags, you could technically wear three Tempest. It would cost you... So 55, 110, and then 165 chakra out of 169 at 130. So even if you wore three of them, it would literally leave you with four chakra at 130 and like two, three chakra at 128. 
Like, it doesn't leave much room for interpretation. Um, Fusion Bear, it's really up to you. Um, not many people do ornament it. Some do, some don't. Um, I find it's better just to ornament another, a fourth disposable mag for the element or the crit or whatever you want, as opposed to this mag where once it's ornamented, it pretty much locks you in place. You can't really do much with it. Um, some might say, well, now yes, you could wear three Tempest in one Sparrow, but you can't ornament the Tempest. But that build is so narrow in what you're able to do. Um, I've actually thought about this a lot, and it's most likely best to only wear two Tempest and then two other mags. You can still wear, you know, Tempest, Tempest, Fuse, and then another mag. Axe users can use Fusion Bear. You just don't use, like... Axe, like, Axe can use Fusion Bear. You can wear two Fusion Bears and not a Ruretsu. <laughs> like, or even a Ruretsu. It wouldn't matter that much. It's just, like, all classes can use Fusion Bear. That's not even a debate. But, like, it still gives you a positive element where you didn't have one before. Even if you had, like, two Fuse and a Fusion Bear, or two Tempest and a Fusion Bear, even, that'd be crazy. But, um, Axe users can totally use Fusion Bear because Axes, you just might have to farm two of them. And if you had two of them, you could go back to using Blue Fang Blade, Tornado Drop, Sublime, you know, all those good attacks. You could use that Blaze Tornado move, you know, all that stuff. Like, if, if one's not enough, just go ornament a Double Wind Ugamatoki or something. You know, you could do it. Axes can totally do it. Never say can't. You can. It might not be the best thing, but you can do it. But um, generally speaking, like I was saying, it's probably best to only wear two Tempest mags and then a third and fourth mag. Um, I've seen a lot of builds where you can wear two Tempest, which is going to give you 300 skill force, um, without a doubt. She looks pissed? Maybe, I don't know. But... Um, I've seen the two Tempest build, and then you can have a Fused, or you can have a Fusion Bear, and then you can have like a fourth mag. Um, you're two Fused, two Tempest and a Fusion Bear doesn't leave you with much room, but you could have a Naked Sparrow if you wanted. Sure, <laughs> hurry up, make me wait a little bit, but you know she's made me wait a lot when she's up in the air and only Palace and won't come down. But yeah, like. Three Tempest is doable. In some situations, it's a good idea. But in others, it's not. Like, you can't ornament them, right? Like, if you wore three, you can't really ornament them. You wouldn't even have a fourth mag. So generally what people do is you wear two Tempest and then a Mastery mag or a Knowledge mag or a Fused or a 105 and then a fourth mag or even an element-specific Chiami because you've got so much skill force that you can just use the element on the Chiami and just stay alive forever because you have 120 skill force all the time, so on and so forth. Like I've seen so many builds. Like when I, like I was saying, when I fought um, Eldritch, I actually threw on a Winchiami and that let me stay alive. Like it was a good like, build with two times. It wasn't amazing. I was doing like two, three mil a sepulcher tick, but it's all right. You know, it's all right. But yeah, like you know, Lucifer, Abyss. Blitz Tiamat, Logos, Eldritch, Arcanes, Rezui Island, Rezui Island, and then you know where to get your fuse. So yeah, guys, like, there's a little mini guide on how to get stuff for Tempest. It takes a lot of energy, a lot of restores. At this point in the game, like, I threw in, like, 50 bucks for restores. Like, why not? Like, I'm not going to roll it because I don't really want anything right now. But I threw in 50 bucks for energy restores, and me and Suzaku and Ryujin, we ran it all day long. Like, we ran it till, like, not all day long, but we ran this stuff, like, all night and all more. Like, two, three hours a night, just pure restore and boost. We did it. And we just beat the um, L bitch beast, as we call him. And we got all those um, sculptures, and I did the seedlings today. Spines are easy. T of Eternal Night, yesterday was reward up. We went in, and I got four more T's. So that's awesome. I already like four to six for the next one. And Fallen Cross, you know, Fallen Cross probably the worst thing. 
What is this? You think you found a Tenku glitch? Alright. So, without a doubt, or not without a doubt, without any more delay, I'm going to try to make this, and I already know that half my stuff is favorited. Um, so what fuse am I getting rid of for this? This one here? Really? Yeah, HP and SP. This one's pretty bad. Talon Breaker, I only have one. And the Sky Fused, I only have one. Look at the, look at the ornaments on this thing, though. It's like Mind, SP, HP, Spear Affinity, and SP. Ugh. So I'm going to try and craft this, and it's going to be like, nope, something's favorited. Favorited! Uh. Okay, so where is... what's her face? Hello, I have things that are favorited. Please help. I always have things favorited. So what am I unfavoriting? Fallen cross, unfavoriting that. Ugh, that's a horrible sentence. I don't like it. Um, don't say stuff like that. Are you going to pay for it, man? Because it's not in rotation. And I spent probably four, or $600 trying to get Title of Sublime and never got it. Horn Sculpture. I know. Ceiling of Calamity. T. Thank God it doesn't take Frozen Hellhorn. Um, okay, so that's all good. Something might be favorited on me, though. Really? Nothing is favorited on me. At all. And the most important way to get Tempest stuff is to use this 300% drop boost. Oh my god. Just letting you guys know. But hello, Ushiro. Hello, hello. So now that we've said and done all that, let's um, finally make this bad boy. Ba-dum, 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 ba-dum. I'm good luck. You got your zenith. Awesome, be joyful. And keep posting the good stuff in the, the Discord. Alright, so let's try again. Thunderquake fused, Talon Breaker fused, Skyrun infused, and craft. Oh my god, we did it. Holy shit. All my marbles, gone. All my mags, gone. My seats, gone. My sculptures, gone. I'm not gonna ornament it now. Too much chakra. I have one seedling of calamity. No spines, four T's, and three cro nine crosses left. Oh shit. Holy shit. So let's see what we got. That cost me how many mil? Holy crap. So what am I taking off for this? This one here, the one that's six crit, two decks. So what's our grade? We got grade 77! <laughs> Look at that defense! Oh my god! Look at that friggin' defense, man! 5809? What's a fused? 25? What's this one? 19? 19. What's a grade on that? Wow, 77 grade! That's fantastic! Wow, I'm a favorite this. Tempest, the first spear Tempest to my knowledge. PS4. Holy shit, dude! Wow, because you're good luck. Because we're all good luck. A lot of work went into this from a lot of different people. I have 65 lightning right now. Wow. 72 cooldown all the time. Let's let's go look at what this does, shall we? Look at that. Wow. Okay, so holy shit. 120 rank 5 spear skill force. 120 skill force all the time. If you're under half, you get 50% skill force. So 170 skill force under half. Holy shit. So then um 
50 lightning, negative 30 mountain, so rip my mountain. Um, 30 wind, 30 wind, negative 20 ice, 30 crit force, 15 cooldown, and if I was level 130, it would give me 2,500 attack, but that's not going to be for a while. How much lightning? You need to use the sin and show off? We'll, we'll see what we can do. So 59 crit, that's a really good number. And I'm literally left with one chakra to ornament. So I can't do too, too much with this build right now. All I could really wear is like sparrows with like a single roll of element on them. Or I'd have to like swap out for a 105 or something. So that's awesome possum. That's amazing. So let's equip the L Sin. And let's look at 150 lightning with L Sin. Negative not almost max negative mountain with the L Sin. And then 60 wind. So 60 wind all the time. That's pretty good. 60 wind, 60 lightning. Is there some way to bring up your chakra? Yeah, you gotta level up and you gotta level up a Matarasu. So every time you level up twice, you get an extra chakra. And every couple of times you level up a Matarasu, she will give you more chakra as well. But we did it. We made a friggin' Tempest. Oh my god. Wow, so let's look at that skill force. So 265 skill force all the time. Pretty good. But it's literally like if we compare a Tempest to Fuse right now, um, a Fuse is 70 skill force and then 50 under. Gets super low HP, yeah. Thanks, LOM. So it's it's literally just 50 more skill force onto a Fused. So it says this Magatama, this Magatama has come back even more powerful than before. But we won't be able to do something like this again. That was the last chance. So that what they what they mean by that is that there's no um, there's not going to be a mag that's gonna take two tempest or something, two different tempests to make something bigger. Like tempest is the final form in the line of 105 mags. Use sacrifice. Okay. Well, I need to find sacrifice. Um. I don't have a lot of things with Sacrifice, unless it's Artisan does. It does not. Mm. I don't actually keep a Sacrifice weapon on me, I just always seem to have one. Mm. These have no skills, this has nothing. I might not have a Sacrifice at all. Mm. x -ray. You fool, this isn't my final form. Uh, wait, I have one with Backstrike 7? I didn't know that. None of these twins have sacrifice on them. Oh my god. What is this? Oh, that's my Dark Heaven Emblem. Like, why? Why is this weapon so good? Is that a blue flame bleed six? It does. Does o do Odachis have um, sacrifice on them? No. Let me hit you. You can't hit me. Oh, there we go. Good old Oni no Dachi. All right. So, actually, this isn't a good weapon to hold. Alright, so skill force, we have 415 skill force under half. Holy crap. And max skill force, by the way, is 500. So we're at like a 4 out of 5 right now. Um, if the game will let me sacrifice again... If I get down to the lowest percentages, I can have more with the Elsin. Um, 
I think we're in the final percentage. 460 skill force. Oh my god. Yeah. The sin gives a lot. So 40, 460 skill force. Like, wow. We're literally 40 skill force away from cap. If I was, like, promiscuous enough, I could make, like, a sparrow with, like... Not Yggdrasil. Like, I could probably do Yggdrasil or something and get, like, a lot more skill force. But at this point, the crit force is more important, in my opinion. But yeah, that is huge. 269 crit force as well. Does he? Well, that's great. Every roll of Rolling Thunder? Maybe. Let's go see. Let's go hit some. Oh my god, you can just hear the heartbeat of her dying, but it's actually her being excited. That's like a horrible sentence. So my health isn't really low right now. Did I not crit? I did, okay. I was about to say. Wow, this 59 crit, I can I can feel it. I feel it a lot. Holy shit. 60 6.9 mil a tick. Is my old bow guide still viable? Kinda not. Cause it talked about Dagger's Peak and stuff. I gotta kinda like remake them all now the new um The new world we live in. Whoa! Seven mil. Damn it, he hit me. Alright, so super low health. Wind thrust Mephi? It's only 60 wind. Holy crap, 88 mil. Or 8.8 .8 mil. That's a lot of damage. I don't really want to win Thrust Mephi. Can I eat Satan for breakfast? Like, regular Satan, yeah. I I would eat him for breakfast. Oni mode Satan would be, like, probably a little easier, but not super easy. I need to take this drop boost off my bar, because it kind of bugs me. It's my last one, like... That's what I was saying. Like, I'd rather use my boost on the stuff for Tempest than the actual recipe. Oh, that's how it went. My friend Suzaku actually made his Tempest last night as well. Yeah, they do. I've seen it a lot. Hmm.
Hmm. Now where are we gonna go? I guess, what would you say? Go hit Mephi in the face? Okay. I was about to say, if I don't DC here, I'll go hit Mephi in the face. I won't do a lot of damage, but I'll go hit him in the face. It's your first time catching the legend himself? Yeah, you can do that. That's what I was saying. Like, you can wear two Tempests and then, like, like, some people like to wear a Chiami just so they don't die. But, um, like, we can go back to the Chiami meta. Like, it can come back. I, I do have Wind Thrust 7, just not on the weapons I'm currently equipped with. But, yeah, like, Yeah, absolutely. Why wouldn't you? Yeah, like Himono. I've tried to make some good Himonos, and I haven't got um. Like, I actually made about th every Himono I could with white glass marbles. I ran out, and um, I never once got one with double wind. I was trying to get one with like double wind or one roll of wind, and I could not get one. Um. <laughs> But I kind of thought it'd be fun to have, like, like different element Chiamis and stuff and see how they work. Why is it? Like, I think, like, a lot of people on PC use Tempest and Chiami. Like, it's really weird. At first, I thought it was really weird, but when I was using it on um, Eldritch Beast, it was phenomenal. Um, and Abyss as well. I really use them for Abyss because he just hurts you so much that every time I hit him with like a Sepulchre Vortex, it would, um, you know, it would heal me like 900 a hit. Like it was phenomenal. Yeah, I made it Mega Min. Yeah, I did. I, I made a guide about how to get everything and basically explain where to get everything. And then I made it. Ho, ho, ho. Green giant. And it came out with a phenomenal grade. Eva had actually wished me that I got a great grade before she went to bed. The game been beating her up all day. Blue screens and bad drops and stuff. She said, I hope you get a, fan a great grade. And I got 77 grade, which is awesome. I'm going to hit a Kijimuna. I'm pretty much a noob. Do I have any tips? Um... I'm not going to ornament it, no. No, you don't ornament Tempest. Like... Four mil on this little guy. Man, I can feel that cooldown. Oh my god. Like, I don't recommend ornamenting Fuse or Tempest at all. They would just end up taking so much Chakra. Like, another mag that'll come later is the Fused Bear. And the Fused Bear mag is like a 105, but it's like Fusion Bear on crack. Is the Ivis mag good? Yeah, the Pure Blood Black. It's a really good mag until knowledge comes along. <coughs> Excuse me, I had to sneeze. Ugh. 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 I'm gonna die. I've actually been, like, semi-sick all week. No, no, I didn't. I what? Why did it? Uh. I guess I'm gonna go like. Am I gonna fight Tengu? I don't want to fight Tengu. I would love to see how much damage Miyamoto's attack would do on him, but not right now. <laughs> You've heard only two people got... No, no, a lot more people than that have it. Because I've talked to... At least... Three, four, five people that have it on PC. So... Like, I tried... I hit left to go hit, like, no. And it just, like, put me in anyway. 
But honestly, like for Tempest, once you have um, once you have the fuse, everything else is just busy work. I want to say. Um, how do you craft? You do not craft knowledge mags. They come from an event. Um, there's like a vendor where you trade in materials from the event, and I think you can only get 15 knowledge mags, and then you use them to make other mags if you want. Some people don't. How many sigils do you need to find an entrance to Room of Rights Hell? Oh, well, to find the entrance to the Room of Rights, um, you just, when you fight Tengu, you have to go to the left. You can do this on any difficulty. When you fight Tengu and you kill him, there's a rock you can destroy on the left-hand side of the screen and um, or on the map or whatever, and you can break it and you go through that portal and it takes you here. Um, you get Zenith Medals from doing Oni Mode. It's something that's very post -end game y Um... But um, that's how you get Zenith Medals. I don't have many of them now because I just trade them in for like skill cards. Um, I'm not going to... What the fuck? My controller was messed up. I'm not going to sacrifice, but I will hit him with Whirlwind Thrust. Seven. Hey, Succubus. How you doing? Oh, and I managed to get my Shadowfoot Guardian as well, so, you know, Abyss could be on the horizon. I'm just going to go in on normal. I'm going to see what this is like. Um, Mephi kind of intimidates me. Not really. I just don't like fighting him. Yellow Dragon, exactly. You... I'm working on Fallen Star, but Tempest comes first. I have to get 150 horn sculptures to make a Fallen Star. War Run Throw 7 is amazing. It is awesome. Okay, I'm going to try to fight him. Moth Orchid, Moon King, Gale. Okay. None of these alcohols are really helping me. At all. I'm going to die, though. Like, real good. He's not even there yet. They're not that hard to get. I'm only doing like 400 keys. Oh my god, the cooldown. That's doing. Two mils double damage? Are you serious? Wow. Do I know Sword Art Online? Not I know of Sword Art Online, but I've never watched it. That went a little too easily. Like, I wasn't really doing anything. Yeah, I mean, the Wind Supreme would be so good. Holy shit, dude. Like, I have a Whirlwind Thrust 6 card waiting. But that's going to have to wait for the skill card dungeon to come out. Because I'm not going to skill change that thing. Ah, uh, no. Go out of here. Get out of here. I'll try um hard. I'll try hard, too. That's like... What's too big to win a mountain? Ugh, gross. Try Glacies in my Nova. I'll try Glacies after hitting him with the wind attack. That's a lot of damage. I don't have them with me, I can't. Oh, 
Oh, this is hard. That's why it's not dying. Yeah. Fuck. I'm gonna die now. Please don't kill me. Okay, fall down, asshole. Thank you. That wasn't too bad. That was actually pretty tame. I mean, I used some mega potions and stuff, but it wasn't too bad. Two minutes, pretty good. Probably my best solo time. Well, no, if it doesn't, well, if it kind of erases that, but that's not too bad. Not too bad at all. Bad HP pool. Storm wouldn't. I don't. What? Lance would do that. You just reached 100. Decent weapons, mags. What's the key to being endgame? Uh, the key to endgame is 105 mags. Um, good weapons from wardings that have good skills on it that match their elements. Um, money is a big part of it. Having money is great. But um, 105s. Great 105s. Great fused. Fantastic fourth mags. It's probably the most undertouched thing ever. Is um, the fourth mag. The fourth mag's phenomenal. I use a crit force mag. We could have a um, wind mag. You know, so many different options. Um, gonna repair real quick. Some could even say, well, end game is just get two tempest mags. Doesn't matter about the ornaments. They'll be fine. And then just get. A fourth mag with some good crit on it or something. Like. I have a Neo Excalibur. Well, Neo Excalibur is the foundation about it. I still remember about a year ago or a little longer than that. A little earlier. Um, I made my second weapon to 100 and it was a Hio Tengu. So that's the start of many things. Getting that thing up is good. Um... Anything weak to light? Any bo a lot of bosses are weak to lightning. Um, I can't sort. I feel it'll crash my game. Uh, let me think here. Do I have any sparrows with element on them? This one's got dark on it. This one has ice on it. A lot of them have element on. It. What's this one? Lightning and rain. This one has 22 win. Can I get to 130? I can, but it would take me a long time, and I do not have the boosts for it. Or the time for it. I could try... I don't know what's stronger, Crit Force or Wind Force. Like, you know, Wind Force. Crit Force or Wind, I don't know. But I do have a Wind one if I want to test it out. So, 21 Wind. Easier say, yeah. So let me get out the other wins. I'm not going to do hell. Like, that's not going to happen tonight. Um... Ho, ho, ho. Great giant. Ah. Uh... I thought I sorted by attack. Yeah. I was thinking about it. I was thinking about it. Crit Force on it. But I want to get other wind sparrows before I do that, because I don't have a lot of wind sparrows. Well, even just one is it's way more attack than that, because it's, that attack is amplified by the attack percent your weapon gives you and the attack percent that your accessories give you. So with two Odas and your weapon at plus 100, that 2500 attack gets a 50% boost. So that 
2,500 attack is more like 3,000, 4,000 attack. Like, it's huge. You're going to get that 1.25% added. So it's going to be like, you know, almost 4,000 attack. It's a lot huger than just that. <laughs> Especially with accessories. Like, obviously before I'm 130, I'll have two. Hopefully. But, um, yeah. That attack is huge. Um... <laughs> I do have the warped wind thrust on it. I will try that. I will totally try it. Oh my god. And I'll bring the Rowena. IS 13 artisans. Should I go for Night Sky or power level to 125? Make the Supreme. Flame Lance and Verdant are good options. Should I get the Elsin? I think the Elsin is an amazing weapon. Um, I think it's better than Reverence for holy damage anyway. It really depends on your class, but... Um, Elsin is probably the strongest. Like, it's it's still very strong because it's a double damage thing. Do I have any tips for starting a YouTube channel like mine? I love all these questions. Um, there's so many questions. Um, tips for starting a YouTube channel like mine is um, have something you like, have something you enjoy doing, and something that you are knowledgeable in. So if you want a channel like mine, you have to have something that you know how to do and you enjoy doing it and you can help others achieve that goal so then eventually you can make friends that you know team up with you and learn and the community gets better and that's mostly just for like onigiri but basically have something you enjoy doing something you can help others achieve or do and be nice and talk to people and make videos make streams be you don't have to be consistent but just do stuff like you know be people's friends but also be you know their teacher someone they can look up to so like someone they look up to and enjoy that's how you make a channel like mine is just be yourself be who you want to listen to like a lot of time like that's a, that's a, probably the best advice right there is be who you want to listen to um cuz chances are unless you're some social anomaly other people would want to listen to that too so if you have watched guides in the past or something because my channel is heavily um knowledge based guide based um if you've ever been in the past and you wanted to watch someone explain how to do something and when you watch their video it's just text on a screen or it's very like it's very formal you have to do this proceed by doing this and so on and so forth like a very like textbook sort of way a lot I, a lot of people don't like videos like that yeah it's nice to have a visual example that shows you what to do but you have to be engaging you have to be what you want to watch always think about that like if ever you're making a video making something make something that you think you would like to watch don't always think okay what would other people like to watch because then you're doing something for others you have to do it for yourself that's a big part of it like make the videos that you want to make be the person you want to be and if you're a good enough person and you make good enough videos people will come you know there's no one that wakes up in the middle of the summer and says I want to be someone that everyone likes and he goes around and surveys everyone what they like and that's not gonna work you're gonna get well I like cherry pie and I like strawberry pie and I hate the other well what are you gonna be you're not going to be strawberry cherry pie it's like you could try to be but you're not one or the other like but you've come to the consensus that people like pie so you might as well be what like the Logan pie be the Oro pie be the O pie pie you know like and you could literally make a little mascot that's a little pie that has a boob in it with a cherry for a nipple and it'd be funny and great and that's just theory crafting but just find your niche be what you want to be um <laughs> want to be friends well shake with your other hand but that's that's generally how you'd make a channel like mine is you know learn stuff um so you asked the question what's the least pay to win class um the least pay to win class are 
I want to say bow and wand um, because they have range. They have great skills. The only like bad skills on bow are like spin kick and like some other things that I don't even remember. But like basically any class that doesn't need Ogies to survive. Um, like basically what Randall just said, like wand, fireball can do enough DPS to out DPS a lance. Lance is great and awesome, but it's really free to play. You can grab a lance. Um, like wand has fireball. It has lots of great moves. Darkness pillar. They can hit things in the air. Um, you know, bow can hit anything at any range. Um, you don't exactly need Okies. They just make it better. Like obviously no one's going to say, well, yeah, you should have restriction. You don't need aqua can water cannon. It does sort of okay damage, but it's not necessary. You don't need, um, aerial blitz. It's kind of bad. Like bows, Okies aside from restriction are bad. Um, Amaya's Punishment is great, but Holy falls off, you know. Bo basically doesn't need Ogies to survive. Juan doesn't need Ogies to survive. Um, Spear is kind of in the middle, because Water Dragon, Lance of Flames, Revolving Blast, Rolling Thunder. A lot of these moves on Spear can out-damage some of your Ogies. Now, obviously, Water Dragon Sublime is amazing, and they just make it better. They don't need them to survive. Um, very pay-to-win classes. Well, if, to know the ones that aren't pay-to-win, know the ones that are pay-to-win. Sword. Sword kind of needs Ogies to survive. Um, Ogies give Sword access to AoE attacks it wouldn't normally have. So Sword is a big propri proprietor of pay-to-win things. Um, Odachi is kind of in the middle. Like, they don't have the biggest move pool either, but they have the, it's basically the same thing as... Um, sword and axe as well really likes its ogies like rock shattering spear or whatever it's called earth of... rock shattering strike i don't know what it's called rock shattering ogi like axe's ogies really really complement it um in the future spears will only rely on sublime ogies and water dragon well spear is always relied on water dragon but wind thrust is amazing as well verdant storm like ogies are great ogies are supposed to be awesome um like, they're a part of the game, and if you get so invested into the game, eventually you will get them from either gotchas or putting money in or whatever. But there's not many free-to-play players in the game um, at a high tier. I, do, I don't think there's any. Um, but they're probably the people you want to ask. Like, ask around who's truly free-to-play, who's never put a dime in this game, so on and so forth. But um, eventually, like... OC becomes more about energy and stuff. Like, you start to get that... Um, you start to get to that point in your Onigiri lifespan where a night out with the boys is you're going to go farm a dungeon and it's like, hey, instead of like buying $30 worth of drinks or what have you that weekend, or if you're going to go to an amusement park, it's like 50 bucks. You could, people would be like, well, if I'm going to spend $50 at a weekend anyway, I'm just going to dump like 50 bucks into the game for energy restores. We could just have fun all week. Like, I'm kind of at that point more often. Um, could be custom mod, would be awesome. Uh, which dungeons give the most OP weapons? Uh, after a while, um, weapons stop. After 105s and 117s, nothing is really going to be um, identifiable. So dungeons giving weapons doesn't really matter that much. Um, eventually, Glacies is probably the last identifiable weapon that's really good. Um, Mephistopheles weapons are okay, but Glacies is pretty good. You're the free-to-play budget Oro. That's right. Uh, what is the limit that a solar? What is the limit that a solar player solo player can have? The limits of a solo player. Um, the limitations of... There's so many good videos here, guys. Like, I have to make a lot of these into separate videos later. Oh, my God. The limitations of playing... Like, if you have pros and cons of playing solo, you have, like... If you're playing solo, you only worry about yourself. You have no one else to worry about. You do whatever you want, when you want, so on and so forth. If you don't, but if you are playing solo, you have no one to resurrect you. You have no one to help you. Everything is on your own shoulders. It's harder to get farm parties together. It's hard to boost for things. It's 
you know, playing solo in an MMO, for some it's a source of pride, for others it's just very limiting and shallow because eventually you're going to hit walls where it's like, yeah, I'd like some friends to help me do this. Like, you know. Oni mode is a big one as well. Oni mode is such a big one. It really, really limits the player. But it's it's an MMO. People are supposed to play together. It's not supposed to be a punishing thing. Um, But yeah. Like, generally speaking, everyone's just solo until they find other solo players that want to be friends. Like, that's, that's how things go. Um, oh, you're fine with solo? I mean... I mean, solo things when you when you have to, but if you don't have to, you don't need to. That's how I feel about it. Like, if you have two people that are perfectly capable of doing something on their own, when they team up, it gets done. Like, weird example is um, in Naruto, when um, they're fighting, like, the Ten Tails at the end, whatever. And you have, like, you know, Naruto and Sasuke fighting together for, like, the first time in years... Each of them could just rip everything apart. But when they're working together, everything get rips apart more. <laughs> like, things just die, and they're combining attacks, and everything's exploding, and it's overkill, and it's like... If you can do something by yourself, if you have a teammate who can also do it by yourself, you're gonna do really, really well. Like, just because, you know... A good example is just because you could carry a table over your shoulders and bring it somewhere doesn't mean that it might not be better to have two people grab each side of the table and to comfortably bring it somewhere. It's a lot less stress when you play with a friend. A lot less stress. And when you play with a friend, you're more compelled to farm as well because you have a almost like a rivalry competition common courtesy thing to always be on the same level as each other. Like that's sort of what party plays about like if it doesn't happen then you have one person who's not carrying their weight and they're just pretending to hold the table it doesn't matter but like generally playing with friends is more fun and you can get more stuff done and it's awesome and... <sighs> but you can solo oni mode hades and odin i mean you could solo those modes but i find Without an invig partner, it's really annoying. Um, but, you know, let's let's go hit him on hard again with these other weapons. I have been talking at this screen for a while because I have French ancestry. And when I get into a serious talk, um, my Frenchness comes out and I talk with my hands a lot. You can't see it, but they're waving like crazy. Like, oh my god. So whenever I do like a big, um, you know, people want questions and stuff, I put the controller down. Yeah. So we wanted to see... What's the warp going to do? You got soccer? Cool. That's cool, man. No problem at all. I'm just glad you're here. So warp does 500k, which makes no sense. I haven't used a warp in... Feels like a month. <laughs> Gaga was doing way more damage. Six hundred to five hundred K is pretty good. Not the worst damage. What's the Ruina gonna do? Mind you, this thing only has thirty holy on or thirty wind on it. Um, about the same damage. And he's being an annoying little bugger. So the Gakko still seems to be stronger. I was low up with the Gakko, that's right. Um, I have to get low. Somehow. Huh! Oh! 98 on a crit, okay. Okay, hopefully this will stop at some point. Oh my god. Oh, 
So seven eight hundreds. Damn it, I thought it just hurt me. When your hitbox is bigger than your confidence. <laughs> Fuck. But the Gakuho is definitely the way to go. It does 1.9 when I get a crit triple damage. Fuck. He's probably gonna kill me. Oh no, he might not. You're on PC? Oh, uh, I spammed the button, it didn't matter. What? I guess. Come on, let me attack him. Yeah, seven eight hundreds. Oh, we're wearing the wind mag, aren't we? Holy shit! Oh my god, we did... With the wind mag, we did like three mil. On a triple damage hit. Holy shit. Holy shit. 900k. Okay, I'm just gonna die. Wow, that's a lot of damage. I like this wind mag. Wow. Yikes. Yeah, only one Tempest on Zap. Hey, I've seen you in the, um... Party Recruit every now and again. Yeah, parties a lot. Assuming you have the same name as your in-game character. Try the warp with low HP. Can we do normal? Like, he just is annoying on whatever the hell this is. On hard. Dude. I'm gonna do normal. Fuck it. Ho ho ho, green giant. Yeah, just made my first tempest. Thanks, man. I think I can block that lightning. I don't think I can block that lightning. Alright, works for me. Ah, ah. It kept circling me. I'm gonna die to poison. Am I the first to make one? No. No, Cluster was the first, Suzaku was the second, that was the third. Shit, okay. You wanna see the warped under half? Damn it, under half of the warp is not the same as the others. It's pretty good. That's a lot of damage. Wow. Did I make all three Fuse and all three 105s without any, with all the mass without buying 
them to make your Tempest? Um, because the lean mean weapon machine said you bought some of them. Uh, well, we can't trade. Um, but yeah. Well, that was on the Falling Star. Obviously, the Falling Star is a lot stronger than Agakaho. <laughs> this thing only has 1,500 base attack. Falling Star would have, like, 23, 22. But, um... I made all my Thunderquakes... without medals. And... I've only ever made one Magatama with medals, if that's what you mean. But I made um, the Dancing Water Fused with Metals. And I saved up my medals for the Tempest recipe and I bought it about a week ago when I hit 128. Um, but yeah, I don't know what your friend was really telling you. What happened to Ice Frosty? They changed their name because they wanted to reinvent themselves and I don't really know what happened to them since. It's a little fun in Nova well. You got a summoner scroll? Nice, man. Nice. Would you ask the Nova? The Nuova. My Nova only has like rank 6, but I could just it's in here somewhere. That's the fire one, there's the wind one. Well, as far as wind as you can get. Oh, really? Also, you hurt my feelings by spending $50 on OC instead of going to an amusement park? I mean, we don't really have any amusement parks here. <laughs> Um, we have like a water park, but that's way too expensive. And that's only for one day. Oh, no carry me. No. No carry. The damage testing on Mephine. Oh yeah, we wanted to see what my skill force was. Uh, skill force. 475! Shit. So how does the warp... How does this work? Disneyland is the shit, though. Um, so how does this work? It's... If you're under 25%, that's as low as it gets, right? How much is it supposed to give? If you... It gives you 15... If you're under half, it's 35. If you're under 25, it's 28. You damn right. So I think my H. If my skill force went up, then that means I was as high as I could go. Um, skill force. Yeah. So 475 is as high. Was as low as I could go. So 25 away from cap. So if I had. Two Tempests, I would hit Cap Skill Force with a Gargoyle weapon. Oh my god, that makes no sense. That's why, like, three is great, but you don't really need it. Okay, so under half, what's this thing gonna do? Probably not much. One, two, three, four. It doesn't do that much. Oh, this is rank six, that's why. Rank 6 doesn't do that much damage. Like, rank 6 skill force is 1393. But, uh, rank 7 is, like, 19. Almost, it goes, like, 21. It's really huge. What the fuck? Yeah. Nah. He can't push me back if I hold L1. Damn it, he's pushing me back. I'm obsessed with the Zenith's attack power. Okay. 
I love this thing now. Oh my god. What did we get? Dust Storm Blast worth. Whew, minute and a half. But that that zenith damage was awesome. Like when I saw that like three mil triple damage, like holy shit. Um I did zenith something. No no no, I need to crit. I need to crit, it won't damage cap. Or Verdant Storm. Because I did a Verdant Storm and it did like seven mil no crit. Um I did a Verdant and it did 7 mil no crit and some of my Verdants were like 9999 or like over half they were like if I was like really really under half I might be able to um I don't know Typhoon looks hard he is he can be <laughs> great giant alright I'm gonna check my bargains because I haven't checked them in god knows how long I'm a girl time. I was over half of the Z. Yeah, and then. Maybe. You want me to try? I'll try. I'll try. Why not? Why not? We're here. Let's go. Damn it. We do so many damage testing videos. I love it. Y'all should come. My music. My mixtape. Your mixtape? What? You're gonna advertise your mixtape. Oh my god. It's finally happening. So we almost have max cooldown, by the way. That's pretty awesome. So 958 crit. Uh, can I get my attack back, please? Fuck. Okay, what are we gonna do? Oh no. He's gonna like, fall on me. Nine 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 crit. Um not critting is a hard thing to do. I think that didn't crit and it was like 997. I don't know. But I felt really strong just punching him for damage cap. That felt really cool. Where's the best place to farm Ryu? Friggin' Locos Hell. Um, uh, no, the best place to farm Ryu late game, one of the best places is where you get the um, stones. Uh, the stones for uh, fighting Lucifer, you always get a mill chest every run. And some of them can take up to like under a minute to a minute. So that one's a pretty good Ryu farm. Um, there's lots of great Ryu farms, really. Um... I can't make a win supreme. I need like another, I need like two hell horns, because I'm saving one for the fallen star. <laughs> and I don't have any seals, or I have one. I only I need another seal if I make for make one, because those seals are for the elves, the next tempest. Um, the best XP farm is Arcane Suzaku and Arcane Biako Cavern. Those are the best EXP farms, especially only if you kill Goldarumas. If you can't kill Goldarumas, then you'd have to do like Hikigane Cave or Dew Creek or New. Do I agree that Twin Swords is the best? No, because Spear is the best. Everyone knows the best is like. Bow, sword, then wand. <laughs> but that was awesome. So that's my wind one. 22 wind. I 
So you asked what I thought about the wind weapon, or the watermelons? They're just artisans. You use them to make better weapons. Um, I used up all mine. <laughs> and it's edible. Brandon's right. They are the best weapon. They can destroy a nation. Okay, is there anything else you guys want me to go hit? Um. Because we hit Mephi with wind, and I saw almost 3 million. I saw that 3 million triple damage wind hit. Oh my god, that was awesome. Um, the moment you realize I have some. I have Alsame. Oh wow. It's awesome. He is, yeah, we can go hit him. I'll die. I'll go do it on normal. Because, like, I don't want to work hard. Why don't we hit up field bosses for Kirins? Because you can get Kirin mags from bargains. At negotiation 7, like, Kirin mags are free. <laughs> That's why. Um, you could do field bosses for watermelons and stuff. Oh, you want me to test me as the Oh my god. I forgot that I have weapons. Don't go. Oh, was it meeting me and you? I don't know. You'd have to go find one. <laughs> you know, I said normal, and I went in on hell. Um... That makes me a bad boy. But we're going to do it anyway. So, three wind weapons, but I will put away the Nova. And I will wear my Supreme to switch. Um, I won't use a mount either, because I'm cool like that. I have negative ice. How much damage am I doing? Oh my god, two million ice? Oh, I'm not supposed to be able to use ice. Twenty fifteen. I even hit from here. I don't even know. Oh, oh god, the man. Wind thrust is awesome. Hey, Mr. Potato Man. This thing is doing like two mil with that bomb. Oh my god. I did. What the fuck? Ugh. <laughs> 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 Suzaku made his last night after we got some horn sculpture, and then I farmed like every seed of calamity today. I needed 28 of them or 22 of them. It was horrible. Like seeds of calamity suck. Oh my god, they're the worst. Like if it wasn't for reward up, I would not farm them. Thanks guys. Oh my god, the sneezing. It hurts. What's your username on Onigiri? It's, um... Aurelia. Icarus, you should have seen it. Like... When I was fighting Eldritch, I used Chiami. 
and I was living, and I was still doing like two, three mil with Sepulchre. Like, it was great. Oh, yeah, of course. I guarantee Vernonstrom will still hit a million on him, or nine million, or what? No, a million. I, I guarantee it'll do a million. Guarantee it. Yeah! I made a wind, uh, Chiami. It's only got 23 wind, though, but 23 mountain. That's not Vernonstrom. <gasps> I didn't do that. Yes. Oh, I didn't hit that guy. I see. I can't seem to crit him. I think I did damage cap that time. No! The laser! That defense, though. Oh, we're doing a million a hit to this guy. Look at that 3 mil. Now we under half for Ryu. He's gonna run over there now. Okay, Miyamoto, come. Am I playing after stream? Damage caps. Fuck. Hey, I got a seed. Damage cap for days. You're trying to decide if you should make a Zenith or a Glacies your wind weapon? Um, Zenith honestly is better, but Glacies comes with Whirlwind Thrust 7 every time, and that's not to be underestimated because we never see that skill. Unless you're on PC, then you could totally. Um, get them quite obviously or er, easily I am not solo and no Eldritch Beast I don't do that much damage to him the Yogs are off yeah I mean yours is fire absolutely you need that fire he got messed up he got messed up hard um hmm. I don't have anything I want to hit. I like hitting stuff with wind though. That's like my favorite thing to hit with is wind and water. Oh, your sword though. I'm stuck with tornado. Oh. Okay, sorry uh, FFA, I, I was thinking about Spear. Um, what you'd want to do... I am not fighting Eldritch. Uh, um, no, I don't like doing that. Um... But for sword, Gakaho is better because you have the triple damage effect, and it's 60 wind. So you can make a Gakaho and put you know double Verdant Storm on it and triple Blue Fang Blade, and that's way better than Tornado Drop. Uh, that's that's how I'd see it. Um, I feel like if I went to Edo, my game would crash. So I don't want to go to Edo. I thought I'd try and hit something here, maybe. I'm gonna see how much damage I can do to Tengu with that um, impact move. I wanna see if it'll do like 5 million a tick. 
if that's what the skill force is going to do. Let's go hit that guy. Holy cooldown, Batman. This thing came back. I mean... It does do... Rant. For me, it does, like, spikes of damage cap. Like when I use the impact move, it does do damage calf if I crit and stuff, but not every single tick. Um, oh wow, that was doing a million? Yeah. Uh, wow. Yeah. I have like 50 dark. I have only no dachi. People can barely do- I know. Like what the hell happened? Is there a skill for axe like Lance of Flames? Yeah, there's um, Blaze Tornado or something. I don't really know what it does. Why do I never use the innate skill? I use it occasionally, it's just very inaccurate. Like I'm not gonna hit this cat with it. I'm not gonna hit the cat with anything. Well, I don't care. I can't hit this gold Daruma, I'll leave it alone. One of the consequences of life. Yeah, he's possibly. Yeah. Why not? Is there something for Yeah, Sword has Waterbound Blade. It's an awesome, awesome ice attack. Although it's called Water and it's stupid. Okay, so if I can hit any of them with this move, this has a lot of skill force to it. Two, two million a tick. Pretty good, but it has to be. Things have to line up perfectly with it. Would have been a great run if I was doing experience. I will now rapid storm myself with this Oni no Dachi. Oh my god. I can't handle it. Can't handle it. Good damage. I mean, there is residual EXP, which I'm always getting. I've actually gained a billion experience since I leveled. I'm at the next billion. Yeah, you could do that. Well, I don't want to pull out Ifrit because I'm just testing stuff. I've been relying too much on partners lately. 
<laughs> and I've been too afraid to like, I'm not afraid, but I just never like have confidence in my own abilities. But then I was fighting Eldritch and Water Dragon Sublime did like 6 million a tick. And that was amazing. Well, in those skills card sets, you can get, um, you have a rare chance to get one of those skills. Yeah, that little nudge is like a billion, yeah. Well, I'll show you, like... Like, I'm at 97, I had to get to 96. I'm about 800 mil in. This is about 800 million. Recommend a video? No, 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 you stay away from that old stuff. Okay, what are we gonna do to this guy? Come here, Miyamoto. I remember what my damage used to be. Alright. I'm doing 48. Almost 5 mils, but 4.8 mils. Over half, because Miyamoto never goes under half. Boom. Hey, it leveled up. How much go for it have? So it went up about 400,000 damage a hit. It's pretty good. Really good. Really fantastically good. Oh, I've had my nose is getting runny this whole week. Uh, the Odin weapon is better than a Nova, yeah. Like for fire, it's better. Um, for wind, that's up for debate, but it has a damage modifier, and it's really, really good for fire. Yeah, not as good as a Reverence, and not as good as a Fallen Star, but Odin weapon is better than a Nova for fire. Anyway. It's an awesome weapon. You should try... I'm not going to use Mia's Lightning Slash on anything. Is it better than the chain? No. Well, the chain has way more attack. The chain is slower. But the... Um, Attack-wise, the chain would probably do more damage anyway, just because it's like, as strong as an Adir. <laughs> Supreme, yeah, Supreme's awesome. Uh, all this sneezing, holy crap. When am I going to play Crash Bandicoot again? Um, I don't know. I really don't know. It's so much stuff to farm in this game. can make chain like it really depends like on your level like chain is a 119 weapon that's way stronger than other stuff like yeah like chain is a great option if you can make a chain get a chain even if you don't use it for like 
attacking because it's kind of slow. You could Vanguard swap with it and be amazing. Like it's just got a shitload of attack and slice and dark and fire or something. Like it's really good. Really good weapon. Um, I'm 117.75. <laughs> Do I want to fight the dragon boss? I don't think I want to fight the dragon boss. I don't really want to fight him. I kind of do. I kind of don't. <laughs> now I gotta change his video's title to like making a tempest and then damage test. Like. But I'm very pleased with that zenith damage. Oh my god. Oro not giving up potential level is nine 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 nine. Max health is annoying, yep. But in a vanguard they don't care. In Oni mode they don't care. I will try to go to the pop turret guy and if it stops me then the video ends here but if it doesn't then we'll go fight him and hit him with stuff like we usually do you've been lazy today I mean we all get lazy hey look it loaded it'd be suicide to try to load into Onigashima though that's where everything would end. Yeah, the Rusty Chain? I've heard about them. They're incredibly strong. That one requires you to have the affection and the chain and you can like combine them. You cannot extract Dragon Arc Ogies unless they were Mega Dragon Arc Ogies. Otherwise, that'd be a free Ogie. That'd be awesome. Most Ogies that come on weapons, not including Satan, cannot be extracted. Just like how you can't extract... Um, what's it called? You can't extract the Embers on a Gargoyle. Do I know Ratty5? I've seen him around. We don't really talk or anything, but I know of him. Whew, that's beautiful. Well, we somehow managed to, like, avoid DCing. He's always, like, in body parties. Ratty. He's like 124 now, almost 125. He's getting there. Well, yeah, you can extract Satan, yeah. But anything after that, you really can't. You need a body party leader. I'm sure we'll find some. I miss this music. Like, I'm gonna say this every time I come here. Yeah, we don't even know when that thing's coming. Oh, I love that old music. Oh my god. Is Lancelot 120 version better than the L end of days? Um, 
Well, the L has triple damage, so... I don't know. Yeah, I made it, Sapphire. He's asking, like, the not sin part, just the basic part. It really matters how much you value the triple damage of the L. Because L is only as strong as, um... Like, L is only as strong as a Hyrule Garg, I want to say. Like, it's as strong as a Dayton Room. I can't believe we didn't DZ. Like, I am appalled right now. Filthy Frank TV. They must be watching. Twin has Thunder Beast Sublime. <laughs> Just made it. What sword ogies are good for three times on sin? Oh, triple damage on the sin? Like, um, I really like the Aosame wave because it's lightning, but the water you guys might not like. Um,. Do I have all the higher tier crafted weapons? I have all but two, I want to say. Um, I don't have the Abyss and I don't have the Fallen Star. But in farming all the stuff, I got my Fallen Star recipe. I don't have the Soul recipe or the Basic recipe, but I got the Fallen Star recipe. And, um, I'm at Elder for some reason. Why am I at Elder? Why am I at Elder? You guys didn't warn me. Yeah, I just don't have Abyss and Fallen Star. That's about it. I guess I got distracted. Those are good moves for it. <laughs> oh, pardon me. I took my echinacea this morning, but, you know, headache and sneezing all week. Lightning slash sublime. Is Barry Groot. She holds that. I'm like wincing every time Miyamoto gets hit by all this stuff. <laughs> this cat's like attacking her.
の猛者が待ち受けているのでしょうか楽しみです <laughs> so we actually made it to this guy. <laughs> um, let's see if we can actually like do some damage test on him. Reverence three. You forgot about uploading a pic today? Oh, that's fine, yo yo. It's fine. Honestly, I haven't been on it today. Oh no. A Lancelot guide. Well. I could try, just really use perfect punishment and the flippy attack and the move that turns your skills to rain and you'll be off fine. <laughs> a one scroll, I don't really know. Like, I only have one Lancelot myself, but um, we'll see what happens. Alright. That was a lot of damage. Yeah, I, I don't, I don't know what her attacks are. Like, there's one where she like flips and spins in front of it. Oh, you call it that too? Yeah, it's the the flippy attack. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know much uh, about her. The uh, flippy attack. But perfect punishment can do the work. It's got enough cooldown. You just change terrain and just perfect punishment. Anything that comes near you, and then use the flippy attack. All right. So what does reverence do now? Let's see a water drag. Guaranteed millions a tick. Guaranteed. If it crits, it mills. Beautiful. That's pretty good. That's a little too fast. Is there a body party or something we can join? Trash. Mm, I don't want to join that one. Satan Bodies Farm. I, I don't think that's what you want me for. Bodies. None of these bodies have people in them. Body Seed Farming. There we go. Cool. Let's see if he can actually survive anything. What is the point in fighting that boss? It's to damage test. That rock has... It's just to show, like, a constant... You know, something I can beat up that's very easy to hit that will take a lot of damage. We can compare numbers, and... I always fight this guy. So if you went back to, like, a stream from, like, four or five months ago, and I fought this guy, you could see my damage then and compare it to now. So it's still a 1.1 mil a tick, which is awesome. What's a water dragon sublime? <laughs> the Darumas. How much skill force do I have with a low reverence three? Uh, we'll have to see. Uh, Oh, man, with your best friend? Cool. Uh, we have 485. That's as high as we've gone. 485. God damn. Oh, man, I wish. You have no idea how much I wish. 485 skill force. So basically almost cap skill force. Um... 
What was you say or Lance? Do I have the best ranking in the dungeon? I don't think so. I don't know. Drink Camellia for 500? I mean, that'd be awesome, wouldn't it? Okay, I'm drinking Genji. Going in. I think I'm over half now. Fuck. Fuck. What's the best place? Oh, you say it's your friend? Cool. What's the best place to farm Hisakata and Neotero? Neotero, you can do Palace of Rain or Dew Creek. Hisakata in Kaguya's home. Um, but I can. I mean, it's 7 mil, just like. I don't even think we were under half, tell you the truth. I don't think we were under half. Because we had, what, 9,000? 9 plus 9? We were not under half for that. We were not under half for that. Oh, shit. Um, I'll go, like, block a hit or something. When you can't skip, no. All right, we're right under half. 77, 7.7 .7 mil. Right in that threshold. Because so we could check again and we would be right there. 335, 335, what is that? Did I heal? Damn it, I did. 335, fuck this a lot. You need some Genji? I had some Genji. I don't want to get more Genji. Because the more load screens I go to, the more I'm going to crash. Four eighty-five skill force. I'm gonna I'm post that in the group. You think it's okay for me at 115 to EXP for Yeah, if you can do it, go for it. And then he says, with no boost. I mean, with no boost, you've got nothing to fear, right? Nothing to worry about. If you want, I'll look at the times for this dungeon. I bet, like, a lot of people just do it really quick. Sure. On, on. Rankings. Blue screen. Seven seconds. L sniping. Damn. Nah, Riku's done it at 13. I'm not even close. I'm not even close. Man, Eva's done it quick as fuck. I'm at 21, because I load slowly. And then I got- I can't do it because I'm in this thing. The cutscene alone is 20 seconds. Fuck. No, I missed it all. Yeah, I would. Yeah, under half I would have that much. So if I left my party, and then, like... Apparently I'm under half, but with these weapons I'm not under half. I 
All right, good enough. Hello, Mr. or Mrs. Sips. Sele. I wonder if you could just come in with Ifrit and just- Oh, fuck. <laughs> What's that? What's that area? That's, uh, going to Satan. <laughs> Shit. Fuck. I thought I was gonna take forever. You could do this in like five seconds. Fuck. What just happened? Nothing. <laughs> Nothing happened at all. A soaked Pop Tart. <laughs> yeah, he's a little soggy. I feel like on normal it's just loading in. Like that's all it is, is normal time. That was a lot of damage. Holy shit. I feel very confident in myself. That was awesome. And I got that 269 crit force. Awesome crit force level. That means if I got another Tempest, I would be at like 299 crit force, and that would be awesome. But if I got another Tempest, when I get another Tempest, I can't have a double ornamented Sparrow. Because it's going to eat that extra thing, assuming I wear a 105 uh, fused. Um, you know. But skill force wise, god deal. That's a lot of damage. Is there anything else we want to hit while we're still on stream? Or you guys have any other questions or anything? Because, I mean, we made a freaking Tempest. That was awesome. Yeah. Yeah, it's 168. You're right. I guess. Because I'd have 169 at 130. But that's not going to happen for a while. Yeah, you could do two Tempests and a 105 and a Sparrow, absolutely. Did I hit him with Lightning? I, I did, I can I can do it again. Um, but I'd have to get low, 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 low. What do you want to see? Thundercrack or Rolling Thunder or Alsami Force? You could wear that build as well. Like, you're in a world where you could wear like two Tempests and Heavenly Shield 105 and then like a Sparrow. And it could work. Damn. I'm not at the lowest. If I was at the lowest, lowest, even the Alsami Force would have killed him. I guarantee it if I would have that extra skill force. Just would have been like. And just ate him up.
Alright. What about two Tempest, a Rumbling, or... Tempest and something that fits? I mean... Two Tempest and a Rumbling? I don't think you have Chakra for that. No one has Chakra for that. I'm gonna let these things hit me a little bit. Alright. I think I'm at the 15%. Let me hit me again. Alright. That must be really close. Almost killed him. What's a Thundercrack do? Like three mail ticks? Holy shit. Rumbling. Oh, is Rumbling not the final form? Well then, yeah, you could do that. I, I don't keep track with rumbling. What is this? Oh. I know there's like scorched lightning and things like that, but I don't know what rumbling is. Um, rumbling. Rumbling. Rumbling is 60 skill force, 100 skill force, is a little less skill force infused. 40 lightning and 20 wind, 25 crit force, 15 cooldown. It's pretty good, yeah. It's pretty good. Lightning Scorch is how much skill for? It's 56. It's huge. Fuck, it's. Fuck, that's so cool. Um, Roland Thunder. I'll, I'll let something hit me. Fuck. Ah! Fuck. Uh, that poison got me. Any things to hit me more? Hit me more, Mr. Frog. Hit me more. Yeah. Mm. Naka naka yarne. Holy fuck, son. Okay, that's pretty good. So not quite damage cap at 7 mil a tick. What's 7 times? That's like 56 mil if something just took that. That is like 56 mil. Bzz, 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 bzz. Holy shit. Zap, 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 zap. That's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Fuck. Uh, yeah, you could add me. Might talk. I'm usually in a private party or something, but... You never know. Could happen. What's Thundercrack gonna do? One to two mil. What's Water Drive gonna do? Cool, almost 2 million on a triple damage. That's awesome. I need a new sponge. <laughs> this sponge can't take it. I want to try and hit him with Spirit Blast or something. What's this gonna do to him? Okay, that's pretty good. Yeah. What about the eyeball in Yamatai Koku? I guess, but he's kind of annoying. I want to hit him with the dark spin beam thing, the mission burst. 
Because didn't we read that he was weak to dark? He was weak to dark, rain, and lightning, like everything I do. Alright, what's this gonna do to you, buddy? Well, he's barely alive. I'll take that card, thank you very much. I want to see Dayton Reforce on him, that's what I want to see. You've not gotten the SP gacha from the event yet? They're easy to get. Go get them. Go get them. A million a tick. Would you look at that? That's pretty awesome. I'm a Garu tongue, give me that. Nom nom nom. <laughs> you failed 90% smelt in the 20 rhyme. Ushiro, you're now a man. Or a woman. Everyone fails smelts. Even when they don't make sense. The best one for lizard armors is Daiku Cave. There's one more lizard than there is in um, Cave of Screams. Zero percent fail. Let's see what this water dragon does. 600 Ks, wow. And this water dragon? 1.3 mils. Beautiful. This guy dies too quickly. Do I have anything? I want to hit him with a wind thrust. Do you think that'd be fun? To hit him with a whirlwind thrust? I always like seeing what whirlwind thrust can do. Whoa, what's that upskirt? Oh, baby. Ooh, whoa, what's this? You should try out Sepulchre. I tried out Sepulchre before, but Sepulchre did really good on the the Yagyo in Genbu. It did really good. Um, can't sacrifice yet, but what's the Zenith going to do? Oh, 500Ks. One point four. Okay, now we're under half. Are we under half? Oh, we are. Six hundred Ks. Okay, cool. You should have seen my whirlwind thrust seven on Mephi. We did Mephi hard, and with a twenty-two wind sparrow, um, whirlwind thrust did like it did like a triple damage tick for like three million. It was like. Everything else was like a lower number, but then that triggered and it was like whoosh! Huge number. Oh my god. Like in a perfect world, all seven or eight ticks of whirlwind thrust or whatever, I think it hits nine times. Nine times three mil would be like 21 million damage. It was really awesome. That's how you do it. Alright. Two mils on this guy, oh my god. When it triggers, two mils. Fuck. 
can't move because I died going in a portal. I have exactly zero health. What do I do? Move to resurrection point. Wait, what do I do? Shit. What 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 do I do? Oh. Oh shit. Fuck. What do I do? I thought this just made me die. Fuck. And I can't go to res point because I'm currently standing on res point. Going to character select. Fuck. Yay, now I have full health. Well, there is a quick little fix it. <laughs> what to do when you fuck with the game? Do you think we'll get that? Um, probably not for a while. It might happen, but they rarely just give us stuff. I mean, we got stuff like maybe two months ago. Have I tested Kieran? Not since, no. Not since I got it. Um... I still gotta make a first aid staff, holy shit. Hmm. I hit him with wind, I hit him with water. I hit him with pretty much everything. Not everything, but... Everything I really care to hit him with. Look at all these weapons I've made. What's a night sky gonna do? <laughs> That's what I want to know. Are we getting Mia or Dark Mia next update? I am not positive. We are not. We're not getting either of those next century. Oh my god, that is the difference between Spears Dayton Force and Spears Mega Dayton Force. Mega Dayton has 1800 skill force. Normal Dayton has 22. And normal Dayton does way more damage than our Mega. Like, it's kind of insulting how much damage it does. That was a lot of damage. It's like almost two million. That was pretty good. You're going spear. <laughs> Okay, so that's the Mega. The Mega's doing like 18 on like a crit triple damage. And this one does like 2.1. And by 18, I mean 1.8. It's a clear 300k more on the regular Dayton Force than the other Dayton Force. You can to make Spear Nadir. Spear Nadir. Better off making a Spear Supreme. Yes, let me inside. Yeah. 
So 500k water dragon. 1.2 mil, not bad. 7 mil. Not bad. Our collapsing 7 is like... Two, about the same skill force as our Dayton Force, actually. 2128, and this one is 2218. I wonder if two collapsings would just kill him. We gonna learn today. Why am I on this? What the fuck? Sometimes I'm on this side, other sides I'm on that side. Things are getting weird. Oh wow, it did like nothing. I'm gonna kill you as intimidating. Oh my fuck. Ah! He's coming to get me. He's dead. Can we hit up with? I don't have many things to hit him with. I'm gonna try poking him. We're gonna see what poking him is going to do. Point four, not bad. Wow, it does like no damage there. I didn't use charge spray. Is that a spirit incense? Oh. Man! I got three spirit incenses from Logos today, and I only wanted to cry four times. Oh my god, I hated that. I hated that so much. <gasps> but everything looks really good. Like, the crit force is almost 270, 269, beautiful number. Cooldown 72. If I had another Tempest, it would be like 77 out of 80 cooldown. Like, Jesus. You got nothing but recipes from three runs today? Oh, I did a lot of runs today. I don't know how many recipes I have, but... I ran the dungeon for a whole hour of Restore on Boost on 300. And I got 21 seeds. And... I needed 22, so I had to do another one like after. It had took me two runs to get the last one. But yeah, it, it kind of sucks. But I just put on some like happy anime music, and I went in, and I just did it for an hour. And I reset every three, four runs. So I didn't DC. And not once did I have a bad run. Like, never was I like on my own. Like, it was always either Ifrit or Valkyrie. It was great. And then I ended up with one extra seedling too. That's the only thing I have towards Tempest is like one seedling. I have one seedling, four T's of Calamity or whatever they're called, T's of Eternal Night, 
nine Fallen Crosses, and I have no Sculptures, I have no Blitz Tiamat Drops, and I have no, uh, uh, Seedlings, I have nothing. And no Earthen Marbles. Fuck. The farm begins again. And it's honestly not that bad. Like, honestly, it's not that bad to make time. Like, if you have Fallen Cross, it's not that bad. Yeah, foreign sculpture is a pain in the ass, but they'll come over time. And seedlings, it's just take a Friday, put some OC in, restore all that Friday. You'll get them. Um... I want to hit with Water Dragon again. Even with like super low health, it was like two mil, two mil, two mil. That's some really good damage. That's great damage. Fuck. If I could, I'd put Water Dragon on an Abyss. God damn, I'd love to do that, but I gotta put like Fire Dragon on it, which is fine. Real quick, I'm gonna check if I actually have a Rain Sparrow I could put on. I think I do. I If I could sort by chalk, I'm probably gonna crash my game. Oh my god, it didn't. Holy shit. Cool. I have a lot of unanimated sparrows, because Silk Bag Farm is honestly the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. I hate it. I hate so big farm. Holy shit. What's this? Twin affinity and dark. 23 ice. Twin affinity. Dark. 21 rain. I think I have better ones. 23 dark. Mountain. Lightning. Holy. Holy again. 23 rain. I think that's the best one I have is 23 rain. I don't think I ever got one with 24. I did not. So is this one here? 23 rain. I feel like Element is doing a lot more with Tempest than it was like before. I don't know why. Because I did like insane damage on Miffy. Like holy shit. Okay, so what am I gonna do? Nope, 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 nope. That damage was bad. Well, it wasn't bad, but it wasn't as good. I'm still thinking that crit force matters a lot. How much SP do I lose by taking this off? I lose 400 SP. That's an incorrect number. So if I was equipped with this, I still lose 400. Holy crap. So I'd only have 1500 SP, holy shit. Wow. Wow, what's this? Ew. I gained two crit. That's not worth it. Two crit, why? The dex? The dex is giving me two crit. So you're telling me if I put two points into dex, I'd get a crit? 
Is that what I'm being told here right now? I would! Look at that! Huh. How much wisdom would that have to be? Really? Just three? Interesting. I'll have to dabble with that later. Grab that extra crit, maybe. Because I know my Sparrow gives me one to Dex. What's this? So what do you th what do you say guys? Do you think we've explored these mags enough for now? The Tempest. No one's going to click on this video cuz it's like going to be like 3 hours long. I just realized that. Cuz it's supposed to be like, "Hey, this is how you make a Tempest. This is where you get all the stuff for Tempest. Let's go use it for like 3 hours." Holy shit, dude. I think I'm done for now cuz I'm actually getting a little tired. You've probably heard me coughing and stuff, so I have Uh, what was I going to say? Like, I haven't been doing a lot of streaming and stuff because I have had, like, some headaches and coughing this week, so I've made a lot of videos. But use a mag with more rain? I don't have a mag with more rain. Like, I'd have to take off the fused. I'd have to take off a fuse to wear a mag with more rain. That's the most rain I have. Well, not really. I could take off a fuse and put on, like... 60. I can't just get one. I don't have the chakra for it. Like, I have one chakra. I can't put another ornament of heavenly on there. It's got 23 rain. Can't do anything with that. Level up? Me and what boosts? Me and what- I can't get to 130? You'd have to- I'd have to get, like, money for literally, like, $450 worth of boosts. Like... Like, you need a whole Vanguard's worth of boosts. And that OC is better put towards, like, the, re the uh, EXP dungeon. You accidentally bought 100 instead of 50, like, money? Like, OC? Oh, my God. Wow. Tempest barely fits on the label. Damn. Hundred. I can't believe I have one of these. Like I, that's one of my biggest faults is that I look at something I'm like, man, I'm never gonna get something like that. When I first looked at like a thunderquake, I was like, I'm never gonna get one of those. And then I looked at a fuse and I was like, I'm never gonna get one of those. And then we looked at a tempest and I was like, I'm probably never gonna get one of those. And then a little bit later, it's like, fuck it, I'm getting one of those. Like, here we are. Like, I've always said, like, I'll probably never get an Elsin. Lancelot stuff I knew I was going to get. Earth was really a whim. And... <sighs> Lots of stuff like that I never thought I'd get. Holy shit. But now I have it all. Almost. Now it's just a fallen star. I'm going to go take the risk and see if I can repair You're buying showed I didn't buy anything, so I clicked buy again. Oh, oh, 
Oh, I, I see what you're saying. So you bought 50 twice. You didn't buy 100 instead of 50. You bought two $50 packages. Okay. I actually made it here. What the fuck? That's crazy. So let's get a good repair. Oh my god, he's so much. They're all things that want fairies. Uh. We're gonna eat all my fairies right now. Yeah. Well, honestly, like, OC for me is better off just restoring most of the time. Um, but yeah, I did get my Fallen Star recipe, like I was saying. Anyone with Ifrit's probably not going to roll for the other mounts, unless they got like a bunch of money. But Fallen Star looks really cool. It's like this yellowy, awesome looking spear. It's like golden and with a purpley red aura and blues. It's really cool looking. And it keeps swirling around it up here. It's really cool. I find the spear looks way better than the sword. The sword looks like a demonic back scratcher, tell you the truth. Um, but this thing needs... You need the faithful Lance Soul at like 50. The outfit for Lance Soul would be awesome too. You need like 80 scales, like 110 sigils. 100 more horn sculptures, that's gonna suck. Ornate Handle, Blue Flame Lantern, all easy stuff down here. Seedlings kind of suck. It takes a T? Ugh, gross. Whatever. And then a Hellhorn, and then a Fallen Cross. Piercing Stones, and Idama. Yeah, that's the Fallen Star. Yeah. It's got, like, one of the highest triple damage things in the game. <laughs> like, the Sword one looks like a back scratcher, in my opinion. Um, I might have it to look at it, actually. I have a lot of the Fallen Stars. Like, I, mine was, like, the last one I got. Like, I don't have the swords. I just have the soul for the sword. And the sword looks like a back scratcher. Um, I should have the twins. The twins look pretty simple, in my opinion. The twins don't look very fancy at all. Um, like, there's their soul recipe. But they just, to me, they just look just pretty basic. Like, they don't have the gold aura that the spear does. Like, they just look like blades. Like, I don't know. I might have the Odachi. I do. The Odachi is just a big sword. <laughs> it really just looks like the sword, but bigger. It kind of looks more like Soul Edge. It's kind of better, maybe. Because it's bigger. The Odachi is actually kind of cool. What if you could name your weapons you name it Axe Scratcher? That'd be awesome. What does a five dragon Uruas look like? That looks really cool. I don't know if I have the Bow Fallen Star or not. I got a lot of them this weekend. Or not this weekend, but this week. I have the Soul, but I do not have the Fallen Star. It looks really cool, though. The bow looks awesome. Tell you the truth, it looks really friggin' sweet. Bow is probably my favorite looking one apart from the spear. I know I have the axe. We can look at the axe real quick. Man, like I said, anyone who makes this thing, congratulations. Like 77 seedlings of calamity? God damn, son. You did you did good. Fuck. It looks kind of cool. It's definitely not bad. Axe looks, yeah, pretty decent. Um, do I have the staff? I think I have the staff. A lot of people make the staff. Like on PC and stuff, I see a lot of people making the staff. I do not have the Fallen Star final form of the staff. I do not. You don't think it wasn't... You don't think it was worth... 
I think it's a cool weapon. I know I have the wand. I don't even know what the wand looks like, to tell you the truth. It's the one that's on top of the one. Looks kind of cool. It, The wand kind of looks a little cheap. I don't know. Your warp tits harder? Damn. Yeah, the warped is a lot easier to make. Like, if Spear had one, I'd only make it out of pure obligation, but it would take me like six months because I'd be lazy. And because the Zod Barak would be fun. But I don't know. Like. Talking about stuff. Yeah, but I, I think that Spear just looks the most beautiful of all the Fallen Stars. Now, I'm not trying to be, like, you know, like, preferist? I don't even know what the word is, but... What the fuck? It has a side view? I never looked at it from that angle. Oh, that's got such a cool symbol. It's like a it's like a claw you want a new staff I know I'm making the Lancelot staff when that comes out that's gonna be the best staff ever so saving some hell horns for that when that comes out Lancelot staff for sure faux show my nizzle Yeah, I think the spear looks the best. Honest to God. Spear looks fantastic. But it'd probably be like one of the last weapons I make, to tell you the truth. Waiting for the Yogg because it's the best staff in the game. I mean, probably. Like, if I got one, I'd probably build it up. Zinzin Zin has left the group Onimoto. Okay, yeah. What time is it? 10 o'clock? I need to go, like, have a break or something. Been farming non-stop all day. Can I one-shot Satan Hell? Uh, maybe? I'd have to get real low. Mm. Like, what do I do? Eat food and then get low again? Yeah, get, get low, get low. I'll try. Um... I probably can't. I don't know. He kind of scares me. No, I can't. I mean, I didn't really hit him with it, right? Uh -huh. Hmm. 
I don't know why, but I'm going to try again. Because I feel like I didn't get a good hit in. Nope, I didn't. Oh, I can't change weapons. Alright, whatever. Come here, Satan. No, I can almost one shot him. I can two shot him. You wonder how it does on the rev over the sublime? Or the rev of the sin? I've honestly never tried it. I don't really want to try it. Um, it would probably be really strong. I wouldn't deny that. Um... I have thought that if I ever got a second one, I would put it on. I would make another reverence with like Geki and Sublime. I would do that though. I know I have a meal. I have a hundred of them, but I'm not going to use them all. Okay, so for the sake of me wanting to take a picture, I'm going to use the Camellia Nightingale to see if I can get, um... I'll put it in this. I'm going to see if I can get the max skill force, just for no reason. How much is Camellia? 15%. Okay. Let's see what we can do. So we said it was get the what weapon was it? Was it the Nova or the Supreme? Like fuck sakes, why can't I change weapons? What did I pick up? <coughs> Sorry about the sneeze. So it wasn't the Nova? How much do I heal when it happens? 300, that's it. So yeah, we have 485, so 22%. Pachoosh! Achievement unlocked, 500 skill force. That was really cool. Is it still doing it? No, 485. Wow. So basically, two Tempests, and then at this exact HP threshold, I'd always be um, at max skill force. Wow. And then the crit force be off the charts too. 
and the element as well. This is a really rad build. Super rad. That'll probably be the fuse I end up keeping. The one with double crit. Because this one is SP and it's nice, but... Mm. Well, I'll probably have both of them and I could choose between them depending on the situation. It'll be interesting. Oh, wow. Three hour stream. Well, I think I'm done here for now, guys. Yeah, the 13k defense is... It's really good. Like, it's high. Like, my Tempest um, had a really good grade, 77. So it was like 5,809. I think how Tempest work is they're 5,000 at 50. And then they could be as low as 4,000. Maybe something like that. I don't know their, their thresholds back and forth, but it is friggin... It's up there. Like... Two Tempest is 10,000 defense. Like, if you think about it. Like, with two Tempest, you'd have, like, so much go for, so much stuff. You gotta work tomorrow on a Saturday. Gonna be great. But, yeah, like I was saying, I am gonna end the stream. I gotta go do some stuff, blow my nose to smithereens. And, um... Think about what's next, I guess. But at the same time, I forgot something. When you think you're off for two days. Oh, that sucks. I do finally have one of the pieces of Abyss. Um, I, I finally have a recipe. Oh, they call you in? Oh, that's the worst. I just get called in all the time. Um, I should have gotten the Grotto recipe for Axe. So I could actually start working on that. It'd be annoying, but I could start working on it. Uh, there's, that's the abyss right there. Oh my god, it's actually the abyss. Shit. I thought it was like a nadir joke. Look at that wave flush over the character. Whoosh. Wow, an actual abyss. I thought I had the grotto, though. I could have swore I had the grotto recipe. Unless they're not attached. Maybe I'm wrong. I could be completely wrong. I could have swore I had my grotto recipe. Huh. Guess I can't. Hmm. That makes me... Well, then what the fuck did I get a grotto for? Because I could have swore I got a grotto recipe yesterday. Was it the sword grotto? It probably was. What do you need for this? Okay, so this thing has to go to 70. They all got to go to 30. Fused, fuck. Frozen spine. Glittering eyeball. Tusk of hope. Ugh, gross. And brain of chaos, I got that in spades. Don't worry about that. And T. So you need 10 T's per weapon? Fuck. Adama and then gems. Gross. It's not that bad. Honestly, like, I guess all these other things you could farm them and they'd be annoying. Shadow Tusk, Jahanam. And the Abyss is just you need to do two of those, put them together with some Adama. 
That's kind of cool. Nanika Yoka. All right. So thanks for watching, guys. Three hours in, six people still here. That's amazing. Um, Tempest is awesome. The damage is amazing. And um, I guess I'll see you guys later. Bye.